Today we're going to start by assembling an SFIC lock. What you will need is a 2.5mm Allen wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. To begin, we're going to take the shackle spring and insert it in the shackle slot. Once the spring is in, we'll take the shackle and place it inside the slot, pushing down firmly. Next, we'll be installing our shackle retaining screw. With your 2.5mm Allen wrench, rotate the screw clockwise to install. When it comes time to placing in your ball bearings, make sure that your lock is greased beforehand and that the lock is in the closed position. Push both ball bearings in their respective slots using either a screwdriver or an Allen wrench. Once your ball bearings are in place, carefully seat your actuator. A few taps will help put it in place. Next, we'll be assembling the stopper plate and IC forks. Make sure that the flat surface of the IC forks are facing outwards of the stopper plate. If you're having issues placing your IC forks and stopper plate inside the cylinder, simply insert your SFIC core over the forks and slide into the lock cylinder hole. With the core inside the lock, make sure it is secured properly. Open and close the lock to verify the shackle moves freely. Now that your SFIC core is installed in the lock body, perform a functions check to make sure your lock opens and closes properly. If you are satisfied with your lock's performance, install your security screw with the lock in the open position. Place the screw in the shackle hole and rotate the screw clockwise to install. Now that your security screw is installed, perform one final check to make sure your lock is opening and closing properly. Once you're complete, you are now finished assembling your SFIC lock. If you have any questions, give us a call at 888-562-5565 or visit us on the web at www.packlock.com.